Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, we are going to have a look at a very interesting project which is called as Open Reader Web UI. It is a document reader with TTS models. Not only you can use it with closed source models, the hosted ones, but also you can use it your own TTS models such as Kokoro Fast API or any other OpenAI compatible endpoint which you have running either locally or remotely. This project is quite new but still evolving in a very very fine way. We are going to install it locally and then we will see how it works. Currently, it <clears throat> supports EPUB and Smart Text Processing, plus you can also go with the PDF files. It also works on mobile devices and can be added as a PWA web app. You can set your own API base, as I mentioned. You can <clears throat> even adjust your own playback speed, plus it supports multiple voice options and you can also set your theme. One of the cool thing about this a tool is that you don't have to go through a lot of um, complicated steps as is the case with a lot of other DTS tools. Rather, they provide a Docker image which you can download locally and run it within a Docker container. So let's try to get it installed and we will see how it works. Let me also give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. This is the VM I'm going to use by Ubuntu 22.04 and this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. So let me um, clear the screen first and make sure that you have a recent version of Docker installed. If you don't know how to install Docker, just search my channel. I already have done a very easy to understand video on the Docker and this is all you need to do in order to download and run your docker you can see that it is now downloading it and then it is going to uh, run it on our local system so let's wait for it to get downloaded meanwhile let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are camel ai camel ai is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws of agent with applications in data generation task automation and a world simulation and everything is installed you can see that now it is running on our local host at port 3003 another good thing which i really liked about it is that everything is sort of local here uh, so you don't have to really worry about any embeddings and that sort of stuff uh, it uses indexed db browser storage so no server uploads are required so let me take you to my browser and then we are just going to launch it on our local host at port 3003. Now, this is where you can set your own theme. As you can see, there is a system, there is a light, there is a dark. So my system theme is dark, but I'll just uh, you can select a dark one. And this is where you can set your endpoint. Now, if you have your own local TTS or remote, remote TTS running, you just give the endpoint URL or IP here and uh, if you have your own no need to put in key just put any random value but if you want to use open ai's uh, models then simply put in open ai's key you can get it from platform.openai.com and that is a paid option and then you can keep the open ai base as is so i'm just going to um you know keep my open ai key so let me put it in there and i have pasted my key let me click on done and now it this is the front screen if you want to change the setting again all you need to do is to just click on this cog icon on the top left and you can change your settings here and now let me just upload one of my uh, one of the files from my local system here so i'll just click here and i'm just going to select this small pdf file which just contains the random information about myself so i'm just going to click on it and this is my pdf file as you can see and then I have just selected my PDF file, clicking on it, and it has opened that PDF file. And you see that here on the bottom right, there are a few of the voices. So I think this EF is American female, Sarah. And then there are a few other voices like Aloy, Nova, and all that stuff. And you can select whatever you like. So I'm just going to go with this one. And now let me just click on this play button here. FOD's content is known for being informative. He provides in-depth explanations of complex AI concepts. Engaging. He uses 
animations, visuals, and storytelling techniques to make his content more enjoyable. Accessible. He avoids using overly technical jargon, making his content accessible to a broad audience. Topics covered. FOD's content covers a wide range of AI-related topics. I just paused it so you see as it moves through the document it is also highlighting that line I tried to make it a bit bigger but I think and this is uh, the maximum maybe I'll just try to make it okay that is much better okay that is cool so I think hopefully you can see it I'm just making it a bit more bigger bigger I just want to see you uh, check out the slider let me uh, play it again and we can also topics change the speed covered. here. FOD's content covers a wide range of AI-related topics, including language models, e.g. Lombard, image and video generation, e.g. DAL-E, Midjourney, chatbots and conversational interfaces, AI ethics and bias, future of work, and AI's impact on society. I just topics covered. FOD's content covers a wide range of AI-related topics, including language models, e.g. Lombard, Image and video generation, e.g. doll e mid journey, chatbots and conversational interfaces, AI ethics and bias, future of work and so I just moved accessible. It he avoids before. using overly technical jargon, making his content accessible. So, so I'm just going back. Content style FOD's content is known for being informative. This is actually quite cool, I would say. Fahd Mirza also delves into databases, DVOps, and various other exciting topics. Please subscribe to this channel. Fahd Mirza is a talented and knowledgeable content creator who has built a significant following by making Fahd Mirza also delves into databases, DVOps, and various other exciting topics. Please subscribe to this channel. So I just changed the voice on the, in the real time. Fahd Mirza also delves into databases, DVOps, and various other exciting topics. Please subscribe to this channel. Fahd Mirza is a talented and knowledgeable content creator who has built a significant following by making complex AI concepts accessible and engaging for a broad audience. So it doesn't go back, it starts Fod from... Mirza also delves into databases, DVOps, and various other exciting topics. Please subscribe to this channel. Fod Mirza is a... Ta so look, um, I think you got the idea behind the tool. And not only it works with these um, PDF documents, as I said, you can go with the EPUB, which is a very common format for eBooks. Um, installation is fairly simple it's very very lightweight and as I said if you have any local models deployed all you need to do is to just change the setting from here so very impressive I will drop the link to uh, the github repo of this tool in video's description check it out let me know what do you think about this tool and if, I believe there are a lot of use cases for this um, as you, it uh, it says that it works really well with Kokoro and if you want to learn more about Kokoro model and how to get it installed locally and use it for it just search on my channel with Kokoro you see that I have done heaps of videos on Kokoro where you can not only run it locally as an endpoint but also you can run it in your browser and there are a lot of other angles I have covered this model uh, since the beginning it was launched one of the best models in TTS I must say I hope that you enjoyed it if you did please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching